Raging flames engulfed nearly a dozen row homes in a North Baltimore neighborhood. Heavy smoke could be seen from Chopper 13 as fire crews worked to put out the blaze. Amazingly, no one was hurt in all of this. Now investigators are working to figure out how it happened. WJZ is live at the scene in Hamden. George Sola speaks with impacted homeowners. George. Well, good evening, Mary. The damage is significant, to say the least, from what you can actually see. I mean, take a look at this trash can full of debris from inside of these homes. And there's plenty more where that came from. You can see piles of garbage here and burned wood. Up on the roof, you can actually see where some of those roaring flames did most of that damage. And that's not counting what's going on behind these walls. A significant amount of water damage impacted homeowners, however, say they're lucky to be alive. Flames and thick smoke that could be seen and smelled for blocks in North Baltimore. More than 70 firefighters quickly dispatched to the scene in the 3900 block of Roland Avenue in Hamden midday Tuesday. Chopper 13 over the vicious two alarm fire that destroyed nearly a dozen homes on the block. Radio transmissions obtained by WJZ telling of not only the concern for homeowners who may be inside, but for the first responders themselves. Amazingly, there were no reported injuries. Baltimore fire officials say the fire appears to have started in the area just below the roof of one of the homes. Because of the intensity of the fire and then the heavy wind conditions, it just spread down um, the road. A number of homeowners have already been by to pick up their personal belongings or what's left of them, really. Many of them still in shock over what they're finding. But I'm just, process I'm just processing this. Doug George has lived in two of the damaged homes over the years. Now, like many homeowners, is stuck picking up the pieces. What's the damage level look like inside? It's pretty bad. Friends of other homeowners just as devastated over the destruction. It's overwhelming. Councilwoman Mary Pat Clark also stopping by to survey the damage. We just have to make sure that we take care of everybody. And again, a live look at some of the debris and damage left behind after that fire earlier here today. Now, at this hour, the cause of the fire does remain under investigation, though some homeowners believe it could be related to some construction on the roof that was happening earlier in the day. It's also unclear at this point how many homeowners were displaced. Live in hand tonight, George Soul is reporting for WJZ. All right, George, thank you. The Red Cross was also on the scene to help displaced homeowners.